Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Just kind of doing a quick video today on uh, winter sowing. Um, it is uh, the end of January and I usually don't plant mo uh, much of my jugs until March anymore in our zone because we tend to have a quick warm-up in February for a couple of weeks that some of the seeds like the uh, colder crop vegetables will sprout but then the temperatures plummet again to uh, below freezing and whatever and it, it'll kill those crops because it stays that cold for a while so but I am going to be planting today um, some seeds that do not germinate until it's really really warm so if we do have a warm spell um, they're not going to be bothered by it too much I um, wanted to show you today that I reuse my jugs um, so you can see I got jugs here I brought them inside it's been uh, below freezing uh, like negative uh, 40 below um, we had a polar vortex come through so I brought them inside put the bags in my uh, bathtub so they could thaw out and get acclimated um, to the indoor temperature and I'm just simply going to take all the debris off and uh, just brush them off because you want to make sure when you tape them that you don't have dirt or whatever that gets in the way of creating a uh, good seal on your jugs. So I'm going to go ahead and get these cleaned up real quick and then I'll bring you back and I'll show you how to winter sow. Okay, so we're back. I'm going to be planting our jugs. Today I'm doing lavender. And I got my lavender from MI Gardener. Um, it's the common English lavender that I'm doing. There's quite a few varieties of lavender, but this is the one I'm trying this year. And um, I put all my seed packets in these little uh, uh, craft and jewelry bags just to keep them um, weatherproof. Because where they get stored, the seed packets could get damp or whatever. Or if you have open packages, uh, the seeds could spill out and you could lose your seed. So I just keep all mine in uh, little jewelry craft bags. So just a little FYI there. I'm going to be using Gorilla Tape this year. Um, it's, it's more expensive than regular duct tape, but it is a good quality tape. Um, I actually got this on sale, so it wasn't actually much more than uh, regular uh, duct tape. The thing to know about Gorilla Tape is uh, you definitely want to make sure that there's no debris um, so it gets a good seal. But when you go to open your jugs, you'll probably have to cut along the edges to open them because this stuff sticks when it sticks. It's really good stuff. So it's a little bit more expensive um, unless you buy it on sale. But um, I've tried all sorts of tape in the uh, past couple years. And I just don't have good luck with duct tape. Some people can buy the dollar store brand and not have any problems with it. Um, you know, and some, some people buy expensive brands and uh, they don't have a problem with it, or they do. You know, it's just one of those things that sometimes you're darned if you do, darned if you don't. So I'm using Gorilla Tape this year. Another thing that you want is um, some m mini C uh, labels. These will go inside your jugs because you're going to mark the outside of your jugs. Let me turn this around. You're gonna mark the outside of your jugs, but uh, there's a tendency that the, the writing may fade because it's out in the sun all the time. So you definitely want something inside as well so you know what your uh, seeds are. All right, so I put um, soil in here already and the way that I do it is I put dry soil in here and then I pour in some water and mix it around with my hands and I'll show you. Just pour a little bit of water in. And that's one of the reasons I have it on this tray so the tray catch, catches the water. Let me get this back out of here. And then I just mix it with my hands. You want the, the soil to be damp, but not sopping wet. But that's one of the reasons that it's on this tray so it can drain. This one's gonna need a little bit more water. So. And 
and I'll be right back to show you how we go ahead and plant. All right, so I got all my soil nice and moistened, and we're gonna go ahead and plant our little seeds in here. Now for tiny seeds, I really don't worry too much about planting them in individual spots. I do what's called a broadcast spreading. Because you can see how tiny those seeds are. They're really, really tiny. So I just take a pinch and sprinkle it like you do salt in your dishes. That's what I do with little seeds. And then I grab a handful of dry soil and just sprinkle it on the top there. Not too much because these seeds don't like to be covered. <clears throat> Just enough where water hits it, it doesn't disrupt the seeds. Alright. Then you close the lid. And tape it up. And you see this one's going to seal up real good because all the it's not crushed as much as this one. So I'll take our Gorilla Tape. And this is going to use quite a bit of tape, but you want the best seal possible to get your greenhouse effect. Just tape that on there and rub it pretty good. You don't want to press too hard and crush it, but you want to make sure you got a good seal. Okay, it's not going to do you any good. It's not sealed on there. And just keep on going around. Some people might be going, why don't you just use one long piece of tape? You can do that if you want, but it's royal pain trying to get one long piece of tape on here correctly without it bunching up and just getting all mangled instead of just adding a couple pieces at a time and making sure it's all on there good. There we go. Again, just rubbing that really good to get a nice good seal. One of the reasons I brought these inside from the cold, so this plastic was warm and flexible, because if it's cold and rigid, you're gonna have a heck of a time. And right here where it, uh, where there, it con uh, it's not straight, I cut these just like you would fabric to get it to wrap around Otherwise, again, you won't get a good seal. So there we go. That jug's done. I did forget to put in my label, so I'm just going to drop it in there. And that's all there is to it. I use a paint pen. You do not want to use a Sharpie, because even though they're a good marker, they do not withstand the elements. They will fade really quick out in that full sun. So if you use a paint pen, uh, you can get these at uh, most... Um, big box stores, I actually got this at Walmart. You can get them at your craft stores, whether it's Joann's, Hobby Lobby, or Michael's. Uh, if you need to, you can order them online. So this is a must, a paint pen, so you can label it. So there we go. That is the planting uh, for winter sowing. I hope this video helps you uh, understand how easy it is to do and that you'll dive right on into it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.